Salawan. Call Halal Yum. La Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Wa Raka Kodash. Double honors to the Apostle Elders, a great millstone. And salutations to you, Akim, out there laboring and doing this work to in truth and sincerity. And um, pretty much, if you ain't tired of uh, this place, Babylon the Great, if you ain't tired of being under oppression and under subjection to these devils, then pretty much you're not in the right spirit, and pretty much the Lord ain't dealing with you. And pretty much I'm going to get into, you know, pretty much how these devils want to reenact the Jim Crow laws, you know, that pretty much where they legally discriminated against Jake as far as, um, you know, public, um, public enf enfranchisement as far as, uh, you know, being able to have the liberties as far as, uh, going to any public places like your restaurants, your um, transportation and things of that nature. But I also got a video up where it pretty much goes further into it. But for now, you can see the title on your screen. It says, uh, white woman or Edomite woman calls police on black families barbecue in park. Resident reacts. Okay. So I'm going to play, you know, play this video. And then I'm going to get into a couple of scriptures. All right. Let me tell you about Barbecue Becky and how the story got started. So on April 29th, a black family set up their charcoal grill in Oakland, California's Lake Merritt in a designated barbecue area, and this happened. She doesn't want to talk now. <laughs> uh, it's illegal to have a charcoal grill in the park here. No, it's not actually. I just yeah, looked at the it map. Is. It says this is a designated barbecue area. No, it, if you, it, not for a charcoal grill. No charcoal grills are allowed. Do you want to see it? Yeah, I got to You must not have looked up. What kind of there. grill are you not allowed? And why are you so bent out of shape over them being Because here? It, it causes extra money from our city to uh -huh. do things when children get injured because of an improperly disposed of holes. So are you saying that they're going... What children? How, do, how the fuck are, is any children getting, getting going to get injured? They're at a public place having a barbecue. How is children going to be affected by them having a barbecue? To hurt children out here, or I mean, like, what? What is the, with this? There's laws about this park. I know the laws about this park. And charcoal grills are not allowed here. <laughs> so they should go buy a new grill because I, I didn't. It doesn't say anything. Grills in here. I don't care what are you sure? Are you it. sure it's not because you don't want black people being out here? It has nothing to do with their race. It seems like a new Jim Crow going on. Bullshit. Um, because for some reason, every time I see it, black people are the ones targeted regarding barbecuing at the lake. And you're a perfect example of it right now. It's two men sitting out here just chilling, and, and this whole setup is real clean. I don't, I don't see they're it's, not. It's, they don't have loud music. It's you want to call the police the on them. I have called You want to call the police on them for having a barbecue on a in Sunday a at the lake. Yes. I just looked at the map and it said this map is fine to barbecue. No, it's not. It for does. Charcoal, not for charcoal. Not a cut. You Did I just send it to you? You grill, but not a charcoal grill. Okay, well, this is exactly what's the problem with Oakland today. This, this, this lady right here wants to sit here and call the police so on them for having a barbecue at the lake as if this is not normal. That's See, that that's the thing. It's it's normal, but it ain't normal for you Negroes to have this kind of liberty in these Edomites' eyes. You know, you think that pretty much, while uh, pretty much you ain't in hardcore slavery, you think that these devils don't still hate hate you and pretty much still don't want to basically have you in the same subjection that they had you in back in the uh, 50s and 60s where they could tell your ass to leave and we don't want your kind here well pretty much the lord is putting the spirit on them to bring that back yeah and she just sitting out here and to be to be fair i, mean, I was walking by and i saw her harassing him and stopped mm -hmm. he has done nothing he's been sitting there chilling the entire time yeah I mean, I, I'm pretty sure y'all feel a lot of pressure to not do anything in the first place because as soon as anything happens, you know, it's like going to be 
somebody's fault and it's not going to be her. Like, right. <laughs> gentleman the entire time despite her being super aggressive with him and everything. So, so, the, so her think, attitude was totally different before I got here? It was, I mean, it was really aggressive towards him. It wow. Really, so you gave me the white lady attitude. Thank you. That's why I came out here to show a difference. A white woman comes out and she acts totally different. No, no. It's it's love. It's all about the charcoal. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. We witness it right here. It's charcoal in the park with charcoal Yeah, she just took she just took a card out of my hand so that she could try and get this guy. No, you offered it to show it to me. I showed it to you. I didn't say take it out of my hand, you stole the card. Can you please give it back? Oh, please call me back me. and now they're, they're, they're shoving me and Oh they're shoving me. Look like video the whole time. I have it on video. I didn't um Lakeshore Lakeshore and Cleveland Cascade also twenty three. I didn't 24 touch Lakeshore. her. I asked her to give the card. <laughs> I'm asking her to give me my card 2324 Lakeshore. It's in the park. She stole Lake my Nerd. card. That's I, what I'm asking for. In a, at about 11 she stole my card. So Can you please give me the card officer. back? Yes, it's so threatening. Two black men so are having a barbecue. Oh, my God. I know. I don't oh understand. That's why I need a police what officer to come. Oh, my God. Come, come, I, I come, don't know. They're having a barbecue at the lake on a Sunday. Please. I'm so scared. Yes, I she am. She was not acting like this a minute ago. Yeah, so much footage of it. I wish we had the footage of her stealing my card. They keep following me. They keep following me. Um, I'm wearing a dark navy blue sh t sweatshirt and, and jeans, <laughs> and I have brown hair about shoulder length. And I have people harassing me. <laughs> My race doesn't matter. She is and white. My age. She is white. Your race does matter. They're asking for it. And you're acting like a victim all of a sudden. You were trying to act all tough earlier. You've been harassing us. It doesn't matter. I want the police to come, and I've been waiting for two hours for them. They're not coming. This is gold. This is gold. Like this is total gold. Oh man, as you can see. You know, you got the Jake woman pretty much calling this this woman out on her bullshit. And she's, of course, trying to play the victim. You know, trying to play uh, Edel Mike, Mike uh, woman in trouble, you know. So she can get these Jakes caught up and kicked all, out, out of a public area from having a venue for a barbecue. You know, this ain't nothing new. You know, this pretty much shows that we pretty much still in captivity, but we're at the end of our captivity. You get like behind it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I went over there earlier trying to keep the people, man. Oh, okay. yeah. So I'm going to pause for a second. All right, this is Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Arise ye and depart. For this is not your rest. This is this ain't our rest. The land of uh, stolen property that these uh, devils stole from the from the Native Americans, the tribe of Gad, all the way down to Issachar, you know, which is you tribes, and pretty much the land of uh, you know our captivity. Yeah, this place ain't our rest, man. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. All right. One, this place is defiled with all types of wickedness and abominations that, that um, go on over here in America because this place is known as Sodom and Egypt. Also, pretty much, this place is defiled with the blood of you saints, man. And these devils are showing showing you that they hate you every day, you know? And the Most High is pretty much about to get ready to destroy this place from off the face of the earth. So pretty much, the time is to pretty much come back to the most high come back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and um you know pretty much pray that this place be destroyed man As soon as it's loaded up, hold on.
All right, I'm gonna play just a small segment of this video here, you know, just so, you know, this Eat My Woman can really, you know, put in perspective, you know, as far as this whole, the whole Jim Crow area and how these pretty much, these Edomites wanna put this back into effect, you know. In this video, I wanna talk about the system of Jim Crow segregation which was common in the United States from about 1877 to approximately 1954, although it goes a little bit further than that. Now you're probably familiar with some of the aspects of Jim Crow segregation from the civil rights movement. Jim Crow segregation involved the loss of voting rights for African Americans, as well as separate public accommodations. And by public accommodations, I mean all sorts of public spaces in American life. So this might be transportation, uh, separate areas and trains and buses, or hotels, bathrooms, swimming pools, uh, water fountains. So these places in public life where African Americans were put in the place of a, a second class citizenship where they could not experience the full range of movement, job benefits, protection of the law, or really and that's, I mean, that pretty much is the gist of it right there. You, as uh, Jakes in America, as Israelites in America, you know, you don't have the same liberties and benefits of Esau's kingdom. I'm going to play another example of it. I'm busy right now, I'm just leaving around. These are the mobile phone pictures that have Starbucks on the defensive. Two, two men were escorted out of the cafe on Thursday, accused of trespassing. On there to meet a friend and asked to use the restroom. When they refused to leave, a worker called the police. Their friend turned up as they were being removed. What did they do? Did someone tell me what they did? They didn't do anything. I saw the entire thing. After that video went viral, Starbucks went into damage control. We're always working to create the very best environment in our stores and in our communities. Tireless efforts to bridge the opportunity divide for young men and women of color. And I've never been more proud of this company and what they do. And this incident does not reflect the spirit of our brand. It was an unfortunate incident and we'll be sure to make it right. Starbucks CEO Kevin Johnson also apologized. This is Isaiah chapter 10, starting at 1. It says, Woe well unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, and that right grievousness which they have described. Okay? So, you know, the, the whole Jim Crow laws is pretty much still on the books. And, um, you know, pretty much you're going to see more of these incidences taking place all throughout America, you know, pretty much, you know, and, it, and it's good, you know, because, you know, prophecy got to be fulfilled and you Jakes need to be stirred up and remembering that this place ain't our rest. This is not our, this is not our home. This is not our kingdom. This is the land of our enemies. All right. Let's look up that word grievousness. 
All right, this says um, in the Hebrew word amal, you know, it says to toil, trouble, labor, trouble, mischief. All right. Uh, KJV translates Strong's H5999 in the following manner as labor, mischief, misery, travail, trouble, sorrow, grievance, grievousness, iniquity, miserable, pain, painful, perverseness, toil, wearisome, and wickedness. You know, this is pretty much, you know, Esau giving, giving uh, Jake a... Uh, troubleness and you know and where and weariness you know you know pretty much like this is Esau just basically you know being the devil that he is and showing his hate, hatred toward towards our people and with that is pretty much going to end up bringing you know more of that racial divide and that racial tension to the point where you know the race war that's pretty much going to be prophesied of is going to take place, you know, because you already can believe that, you know, as far as being troubled in this land, you know, we already got to worry about these devils, cops, you know, troubling us in the flesh at any given moment. And you also got got to know that pretty much they also got their uh, race soldiers, you know, that, that go on a hunt for Jake. Or, I mean, as far as, you know, lynchings and things of that nature that still take place, you know, so there's really no point in having um, a hope in this place. But now is the time to arise and, arise and depart, you know, as far as coming out of uh, Babylon. This is Psalm 10 and 1. Why standest thou afar off, O Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai? Why standest thou thyself in times of trouble? The wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Let them be caught in the that they have contrived. All right. So, you know, this is another, you know, our persecution, you know, as far as uh, being in our enemies' lands and being. Uh, you know, subject to be turned away, you know, pretty much you, we are already to the point where, you know, we, we go to our enemies and one of our all things as, as the curses in Deuteronomy talk about, and this is part of Esau's pride, you know, the fact that, you know, pretty much these devils, you know, pretty much put it out there, that hate for you and their disgust for you, and telling you that we don't take take kindly to your kind around here you know for the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire and blesseth the covetous which the most high abhorreth the wicked in the pride of his countenance will not seek after the most high and the most high is not in all his thoughts his ways are always grievous thy judgments are far above out of his sight as for his enemies he puffeth at them you know i mean these devils you know they got a payback coming back to them because pretty much the tables is about to be turned and you know like that movie trading places you know it's going to take place as far as uh the fall of uh this man's rulership and us being in the power seat through our lord yahweh shai man that's why we got to wait on this deliverance man and it's close it says uh he has said in his heart i shall not be moved for i shall never be in adversity his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud, and under his tongue is mischief and vanity. Like that Edomite bitch, you know, in that video that I just showed, you know, she was saying that, you know, they were harassing her, they were, um, when you get later in, later on to the, in the video, if you want to watch it, you know, she pretty much says that uh, the Jake woman was ended, ended up shoving her and shit like that, you know, basically. That's part of part of their deceit, you know. So
so with that um i want to give all praises and glory to yahweh basham yahweh shai and um you know death to america pretty much man